Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to the channel for a super quick video all about doing green screen on DaVinci Resolve 18, the iPad version. So first off, I'm going to take this clip I have right here of this building, and I'm going to put that down to the timeline. Second thing is to take our green screen clip we have here of this girl here walking into the frame and we are going to take that clip and put that on the second video layer so they are layered on top of each other then we'll just go to the end of the clip and do a fast cut on the green screen clip and then just remove that from there and there we have it then we'll just jump right into the color page and of course i know you can do green screen different ways in davinci resolve However, on the iPad version, we're only working with these two pages. And yes, I know you can get all of the pages open. However, we're going to do it the way that it was intended. So here we have the color page and we're going to go into the qualifiers, which are right here. And then we'll go over to the corner and take the last icon, which is the 3D qualifier. And we're simply just going to make a line on the green screen something like that. Now we've done our selection. Now we're going to go over to this part of our screen where we have all of our notes. In the top corner, we have these three dots. We're going to push those and we're going to choose add alpha out. And the alpha out is the blue point you have here. And we're just going to connect the blue square here. We're going to drag a line into the blue circle here and let go. And now we have connected that. But if you look at the screen right now, we can see that something is wrong. We are not going to see what we are doing. Actually, we are going to get a cutout. And that is because we need to go down to the 3D qualifier and invert our selection. And you do that right here. And now everything is inverted. And if we zoom into our image, first off, we're going to see that we have a lot of green spill. And second off, we're going to see our line here and I don't want to see our line. So we're just going to go over here to the qualifier and push off. Now we're going to take care of our green spill. And we can do that if we go in here and we have a despill option and we're just going to bump that all the way up. There we go. And then we're just going to go in and we can do some corrections. We can go into the clean blacks here and we can turn that up just a little bit. And then we have the clean whites. We can also turn those up just a little bit. And basically that is how we would do a green screen super quick on the iPad version of DaVinci Resolve. So here we have that clip. And it's a pretty, um, pretty nice thing. And a fast way of doing it. Of course, there is a little thing we can add in. Uh, we could do a quick color grade and the fastest way of doing a super quick color grade is to go into the effects and take a adjustment clip and put that on top of everything here on a third video clip. And then I'll just go to the beginning here. I'm going to take my adjustment clip and I'm going to fill that all the way to the end of our clip here, like so. And then for a little extra help, so it's easier to navigate in the color page, you can tap the adjustment clip and change the color to, let's say, pink. And then when we go into the color page and we go to our clips, we're going to clip here. You can see our clips. We know that this here is our adjustment clip. And we can simply just uh, go over here and let's uh, go into our LUTs folder. We have some different LUTs here. Uh, we can go into, this one is free from motion VFX. So we can just have a look at how they look. Let's get the girl in here. And then we can just hover over. If you want to have this matrix look, maybe we just want this thing. This is the Trinity LUT. And uh, by the way, these are free. So you can check those out link down in the description below. If we choose to add this in, we can just double tap and we can go into the edit page. And here we have that effect with a great done. So if you're new to this channel and want to learn more about filmmaking tips and tricks, and of course, Dimension Resolve, there's a homepage you can check out. 
A link will be down in the description below, but it is a page made specific for content creators and filmmakers in mind. So free stuff, free resources, so check that out. And if you did enjoy this video, please consider to hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.